I'm your Uncle Quinn, and this is Uncle Quinn's Garage. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far... Wait. Wait, this is the wrong book. Ah, here we go. Once upon a time in the bustling city of San Antonio, a young boy named Quinn discovered his love for tinkering. His grandfather, mother, and father were his greatest teachers, passing down their knowledge and sparking his curiosity. Quinn was always very outgoing and friendly, a trait that served him well in his many adventures. From a young age, Quinn was drawn to the performing arts. He began acting early and spent 12 years honing his craft as an actor and a filmmaker. From middle school all the way through college, his passion for storytelling grew alongside his love for tinkering. You would often see him with a camera in his hands, capturing the world around him, yet his favorite subjects, uh, aside from himself, were cars. The sleek lines, the roar of the engine, the stories that each one could tell. But there was one car that always caught his eye, the Datsun 240Z. Its design, its spirit, it was the car that spoke to his soul. And so, his journey with Datsuns began. Quinn's first Datsun was a 1983 280ZX. He drove it for a few years, cherished every moment, but eventually had to sell it, a decision he would later come to regret. Yet that was just the beginning of his automotive endeavors. After years of working in film, television, restaurants, and retail, Quinn finally reached a point where he could start collecting these marvelous machines. Each new acquisition, a chapter in his story. Then, one fateful day in a nearby town, Quinn discovered a green gem, a 240Z in need of love and care. He knew at that moment, this was the one. He began amassing parts, gathering materials, all for the rebuild. And that brings us to today. Now, Quinn works diligently through the checkboxes to make this car his daily driver. We find him now, removing the 50-year-old wires, preparing to replace them with modern equivalents. It's a labor of love and a journey of transformation. Yet in this challenge, Quinn saw an opportunity. Determined to make his car roadworthy for years and decades to come, he embarked on a new quest to rewire the entire automobile. No, I need to hit it. <laughs> nope. Guide, why does Quinn like these cars so much if they cause him so much trouble? Oh, Grumble. It's about the journey, not the destination. The love lies in the transformation and the care and the passion poured into each and every challenge. It's also a lesson in patience, perseverance, and finding the joy in creation. These old machines, they can be like old problems. They teach us resilience, and they reward us for seeing something beautiful come back to life. Wow, that's deep. I guess 
working on these old cars can be like cleaning up our messy minds. That's right, Grimble. Each wire reconnected, each part polished. It's like mending a piece of ourself. Wow. Thanks, Guide. And thanks for letting me in here. It's really cozy. You got any snacks, though? Patience, Grumble. All in good time. Now let's put this book away for the day, and we'll have to wait to see what happens in the next chapter. Ah, mate. I really thought he was going to finish it there. Well, stay tuned for the next chapter, where Quinn faces the ultimate challenge of wiring his 240Z. Okay, but uh, seriously, where are the snacks? <laughs> the things I do for y'all.